Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello, friends. Today we are going to start chapter number six, that is about bending. And the book name is Mechanics of Material by R. C. Hibbler, and this is ninth edition. So its first problem is six dash one. The statement of problem is the load binder is used to support a load. If the force applied to the handle is 50 pound, determine the tension T1 and T2 in each of the chain, and then draw the shear and movement diagram for the arm A, B, C. So you can see this figure. 50 pound load is applied and the tension in chain is T1 and here it is T2. The distances are given. You have been asked to find the tension T1 and T2. So what we have to find is T1, tension in chain 1 and tension in chain 2. And we have to draw the shear force diagram. and bending moment diagram so this is very basic question i will start from it and will move toward difficult problems so let's start with its solution so first of all we will find this t1 and t2 by using 3 y diagram so here you can see the 50 pound force is applied T1 is here at B point and T2 is at C point. Clear? So I will take the first moment condition that sum of all moment about point C is equal to 0. Taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. You can also take the moment about point B is equal to 0. But uh, you will have a little bit difficulty so better is that you have to take the moment about point c is equal to zero clear so in order to remove one of unknown so sum of all moment about point c is equal to zero so moment about point c is produced by this force which is 50 and the perpendicular distance is from this c to a is 12 plus 3 which is 15 and it is producing counterclockwise movement so that is positive the second movement is produced due to this t1 and this t1 is producing clockwise movement about point c that's why it is negative so minus t1 and perpendicular distance is 3 their sum must be equal to 0 so 50 into 15 minus T1 is equal to 0. So 3 times T1 is equal to 50 into 15. Clear? So if you solve it, T1 will be 250 pounds. So the value is positive and the direction is shown upward. It means T is taken correctly. Clear? Now we will apply the second equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the upward force as positive. So you can see total three force. One is 50 Newton which is acting downward so it will be minus 50. The other one is T1 which is plus 250 minus T2 is equal to zero because T2 is acting downward therefore it is taken as negative. Clear? So this two will give you uh, 200 minus T2 is equal to zero. So implies that you can say that T2 is equal to 200 in the downward direction. There, uh, what will be the unit? It will be in pounds. There, now you have all the forces 50 T1 which is 250 pounds T2 is equal to 200 pounds so you are going we are going to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so for shear force and bending moment diagram I will take a horizontal axis as well as a vertical axis okay so this point is point zero here you will take the shear force on y axis and on x axis it will be the 
length let each box is of 15 pound so 50 100 150 200 250 pound so this point is 200 pound this is 250 pound this is 50 similarly here it is minus 50 minus 100 minus uh, 200 minus 150 minus 200 clear so we'll start from this point so here you can see 50 newton is downward so this will be this point clear and we will take the length one unit of length is 2 so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 15 16 so you can take each box is of 2 inch clear so this point is this point this point is 15 I will write it above this line is this point is 15 inch so first point is fi minus 50 so minus 50 is this one this is minus 50 from this point till point 12 inch so 2 a 6 2 4 6 8 10 12 so up till this point it will be straight line now at point b there is a load of 250 here here t1 is 250 and we have minus 50 already so minus 50 plus 250 will be equal to 200 so it will be at this point so our line will go upward here now from point t1 to c point which is 15 again this is 2 200 so minus 200 so 200 is this point 200 is this point and from point this to 15 again it is minus 250 so it will go down so this will be our shear force diagram i i have tried my best to draw it as per scale clear now we will draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram i will draw vertical line as well as horizontal line again this on vertical axis we will draw bending moment and on x axis it will be the length so this is zero now from you can see from zero to point or from point a to this 12 distance this is 12 inch the bending moment will be the area under the shear force diagram so its area is 50 into minus 50 into 12 which will be minus 600 and since this minus 600 is uh, the value is negative so our slope will be decreasing clear so let i take this as one unit is 100 2 3 4 5 6 so this will be minus 600 clear so our slope will be from 0 to minus 600 but up till to, uh, 12 inch distance so let this one is 2 6 2 4 6 8 10 12 so if i project this point it will be this point so our shear force will be uh, sorry bending moment will be from this point to this point it will be like this clear now this was 12 distance so 14 and 15 15 is this one clear and again so you can see here the shear force uh, sorry bending moment is minus 1600 so at this point you can see that the shear force uh, diagram from 12 to 15 is this one so this is 200 and this distance is 3 inch clear so 200 into 3 is 600 so the bending moment for this area will be 600 so minus 600 plus 600 will be 0 so our uh, shear force uh, sorry bending moment will be like this so this will be our this this curve 
this this will be our the bending moment diagram so i hope uh, you have enjoyed it if i draw it roughly so you can see i will draw it roughly as well so you can see first moment is minus 50 so you can take below anywhere minus 50 and it will go up till 12 distance clear and then at 12 inch distance the shear force changes to 200 so you have to go upward 200 and then after 3 inch it will go to minus 200 so this will be your shear force clear and for bending moment if I draw it below this always try to draw the shear force and bending moment in the same line clear so you can see here this is rectangular and its area which is equal to this height multiplied by this length so this height is minus 200 and this length is 12 so which is 6 minus 600 so you will go to minus 600 clear so from 0 to minus 600 and if I project the same distance it will be minus 600 and then here the shear force change so now the area under this shear force diagram will be the bending moment and this area is also 600 so we again go to plus minus 600 plus 600 is 0 so this will be your bending moment diagram I hope you have enjoyed and learned from it thank you for watching